Hey guys, what's going on? Ordinary here, bringing you episode 6 as the GM of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Last episode, we fumbled around trading at the deadline and finished the uh, season up, year 1. Uh, the export had a weird black box over it, which was really nice. Glad to see that um, my hardware is keeping up. <laughs> I think that's, uh, I thought I had a face cam going, which I didn't, so great. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to get up to the draft here this episode, finish up the playoffs. Hopefully, um, the Lightning can win the cup because we traded... Scotty Hartnell over there last episode, and uh, wouldn't that be nice to see our boy hoist the cup? Simulate up to the draft. Multiple morale changes, finishing last in the division. Yeah, our morale can't get any fucking worse. It's like 50% right now. It's actually the worst. Apparently our AHL squad's not doing so bad. Uh, I'd switch over there if I cared enough. Well, we'll just know. We'll watch these little emblems, and if they stay, I feel like we must have won that series. Here begins the next one on the 30th here. I would love to continue simulating. All right. We must be winning this one, too. Oh, we lost. Okay, we'll edit the scouting assignment. Uh, last one before the draft. Where have we only been once here? all running. <laughs> I'll just cut it out. <laughs> uh, six weeks. I can't remember if we did forwards or not. Whatever. It doesn't matter. So that'll be the last time we scout before the... Dr oh, wow. Apparently we did win that round. Could they be going all the way? They could. Um, oh, that's no good. Best lines, best lines. Could this be the silver lining on our absolute dumpster fire of a year? They've lost locker room chemistry, so probably not. Best lines. Best lines. I feel like that series is over and we lost. Yeah. That's too bad. They did better than the fucking big team, though. Jesus. Oh, Nashville won and San Diego in the minors. Okay, hopefully that means uh, Clarkson's salary is not going to be such a fucking bummer. 72.9. Jesus, could you simulate any slower? Okay, Pro Scout is on the line. He recommends that we update our trading block. We're not going to do it. Fuck him. All right, so let's see. We had we finished third worst, so we can win the lottery. We probably are sitting on third. Where are we? Wow. So Florida won the lottery, pushed us back to fourth. That's garbage. I hate it. So we're picking fourth. We got absolutely fucking slammed. I think wasn't Florida, and I don't know, but we got. We got uh, Jude pretty good. So who have we scouted? Who are we looking at here while we let this clock tick down? Projected. Why would it sort by undraft at the top? Okay, here we go. Top five. So, Jones, Cheatron... Uh, Austin Matthews, he'll probably go first. Playmaking center, Jones, power forward, left winger. So we don't really want that. Hopefully, I imagine Matthews will go first. If he doesn't, I would probably... I don't really want two-way forwards or power forwards. We'll just see what happens when it rolls up to us. Hopefully, Matthews is still there for some weird reason. Um, same to our pick. 
So Matthews just went second. Oh. Oh, we're picking fifth? What the fuck? I thought we were picking fourth. We really got pushed back. That's garbage. That's a bad lottery for us. So they were um, lottoing the first three. Wow. We did not have a good shake of it. Okay, who's projected to go fifth? The last top five player is Bean, the offensive defenseman. He plays on Vancouver, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, do we do it? Let me put some Calgary. Do we do it? I guess we kind of have to. That sucks. I'm not excited about it, but we're taking it. So what, Matthews went third? Where we were supposed to fucking pick? That's bad. I hate it. We've got, I think, three picks in uh, in the second round. So we grabbed a defenseman. Um, ooh. Ooh. Do we want to trade our third for Neuwirth? Because we need at least a backup goalie. Neuwirth. We've got two years left at 1.5 million, which isn't bad. What's his overall? Seventy-eight overall because he's got bad morale. So that could jump up. Backup goalie, twenty-eight. Mm. I feel like we could probably pull something better out of free agency, so nah, we'll keep our pick. Alright, so we pick third here in round two. We don't need a defenseman. Mm, would it be worth it? We have a couple goalie prospects, they're just not good. So I wonder if it would be worth it to pull one. We didn't scout any goalies at all this whole year. So there's a few guys that are still slated to go in this first slash second round. A defensive defenseman or a power forward. Power forward for the bottom six isn't a bad idea. The next thing I would be looking at would be this guy here. Playmaker, center. What's this guy's deal? Oh, tiny guy, 5'7", Jesus. Got him three times, it says. Why is Pugliarvi, um going in the second round? When's our next pick after this one? Ooh, not for a while. There it was. 18th. He's not going to be there. I mean, he's probably not going to be that good in this game, but in real life he is. He's going to go, like, top five in real life. So maybe I'll pick him. Unless I just fucking hit the wrong button, which wouldn't surprise me. Okay, no, I didn't. We'll pick him because he should go high in real life. There we go. We will sim up to pick 18. So let's try to grab a Sanderman, I think. Or Tendi. Because we have three picks left, right? We have these two and then one in the third. So, centerman or a goalie, I think. What do we got? Why does it project or sort like this? It's the worst. Okay. So, there's only a handful of guys left. There's one goalie here. Franz Rib. Real good name. The Hanun guy I was looking at still sitting there. Ooh. So, who's going to go first? Hanun or Franz Rib? Ah, uh, shit. We're going to grab Franz Rib. Too good of a name to pass up. Sim up. When's our next one? We'll find out. Twenty-five. And is Hanoon still there? We'll know after we sort it twice. Because it doesn't fucking remember how I had it. Jesus. Pressed it three times. Okay. Hanoon. Have you been drafted? You have been. Uh, that, that's what happens. You want to grab a left winger and grab a center? Because we can probably... Because our pick is, what, third of the third round. So 
Oh, and my game's doing that thing where it like super scrolls. Great. Um, two way forward. Commissarek's a playmaker. He should still be there for our next pick, but I let's hope he is. Let's let's play a risky game. Oh, he's not going to be there. I thought we were closer to the end of the fucking round. Oh well. You never know. I feel like he's not going to be there. Can I go see a little summary or something? Here we go. All the way to the end. Did someone draft him? Not yet. Okay, so he is still there. Yeah, because he didn't go in those ones either. Nice. A little bit of luck on our side. And then we'll let the computer get every pick after this one because you're not going to pull anybody of note after the third round. And you're only ever going to maybe get lucky in the third round in like the f year one or year two. So, Commissaric, you're coming to the team. Welcome, buddy. Uh, sim options, sim the rest of the draft. And we'll take a look at like player jumps and stuff, hopefully. We got some shit that's not so bad. I can't believe we had to pick fifth. What a fucking bummer. We would have had Austin Matthews at three. I can't believe it. Bean, you better fucking turn out to be like the next Eric Carlson or I'm going to lose my shit. All right, so we're in the re-sign stage. I don't know what we're going to do. Boone Jenner is an RFA. Okay. I pressed A. Apparently you can't press A to go resign. You gotta go all the way back out here. Go to contracts. Okay. So we'll list all our contracts. Does it show jumps yet? That's the real question. It does not look like it does. No, it hasn't shown the jumps yet. So who needs a contract? Let's sort it. I don't. Can't it, I want to sort by RFA? So we'll go all the way down to here then. Okay, RFAs: Boone Jenner, Hurdle, Cassian, Murray, this vinyl guy, Seth Jones, Carlson. Carlson did get. Maybe it did show jumps, and maybe just everyone had such a bad year. Who knows? Hopefully, it didn't. Fingers crossed that it didn't. Prout down to a 77. Yeesh. Hopefully, it hasn't done the jumps yet. This is a real fucking bummer. Uh, Jenner. Offer contract. What does he want? He wants not much money because he's probably not going to get that good. That's disappointing. We'll offer him four years at 2.45. That should... That'll take him out of his development years and into what we know he'll be. Okay. Hurdle. Offer him a contract. Same type of deal. A little bit disappointing. We'll offer him the exact same contract. See if he'll take it. He'll get back to us tonight. Cassian. Offer him a contract. He wants more money than those guys, eh? But it's only two years, so we can probably afford it. We'll try 2.65 for two years. That's not a bad contract. What do we sit on cap space? 18 million. We've just offered up about 7 million. Seven and a half. Murray, what do you want? Ooh, three million. We'll offer you Zach Cassian money. How's that? I'm not sure who Vivino is, so we'll wait on him. Seth Jones obviously needs a contract. Ooh, so there's maybe our guy that's going to actually get better. Four years at three million. It's the biggest contract we've offered so far. Hopefully he takes it because we're kind of running low on cap space, surprisingly. Carlson, we do need to offer a contract too. Had a not bad year for us there on the fourth line. For some reason, he's listed as a depth forward. We'll give him a three-year two-way deal. That's not bad. Yeah, man, that's a decent contract. Even if it's just uh, come up for injuries, like I'm happy with that. We have a lot of RFAs. Holy Christ. 
Um, Laterra we need back for sure, for sure, for sure. Ooh, he wants some decent money. Have some, have a heart, buddy. We don't have that much money to go around. Drop him down to 3.45 for three years. They'll take him to 31. He'll be second line center for us until then, so that's okay. Uh, I would like to simulate one day, please. How do I do this? All the way back? Advanced day. Because I need to get an idea of where we are for cap space. Seth Jones. Murray. Jenner. Carlson. Cassian. Ooh, Laterra. He wants to win and he doesn't think we... I traded for you, so we're going to sign the shit out of you. You fucking prick. That's one of the things they did do right. Is uh, make it so... Like, if they want to win... That they don't want to play on your team. That's cool. I can respect that. Then we're only going to give you two years if you want more money. Because who knows where we're going to be. What do we have for cap right now? And does that blue represent the contract I'm offering? Yeah, it does. Okay, good. So, that'll take us to 60... Ooh, we won't have that much money left, but we have to sign him. Who else do we got? We got Wenberg. We got a bunch of guys that just need contracts, apparently. I'll sort by overall here, because I don't want to miss a... I know Bobrovsky doesn't need one, which is good, because that would really fuck us. Rene Bork, we don't need to offer a contract to. Falk, we might offer a contract to, depending on how much money we have kicking around afterwards. Where's fucking what's his dink? David Clarkson. Ooh, there is buyouts. I wonder what that'll do. I don't want to just hit it because it probably doesn't give you any options, but... Cap space, 8.6. We just offered 4 of it. So we got about 4.6 kicking around. RFAs. Chaput, we need. He wants a... You don't get a fucking... No, you don't get a fucking... Two-way contract, you wise guy. Where do you get off? Or a one-way contract. He's probably not going to accept that. That's okay. Prout. We held on to him to see if he would jump. If we give him a one-year contract, he wants a lot of money. Two seems to take that down quite a bit. At least we can unload him if we need to. We can offer about one more contract and then we're out of money. RFAs. Tynan or Ramage? Who do we want to... Hmm. They're both... Oh, Tynan's a bit younger. With a higher potential. To a contract. Offer it up. You should be able to hit Y to skip a day. We need to make sure we save a little bit of money in case Latera still doesn't want it. Prout didn't take it. Latera did. Chaput did. Tynan did. So, Prout, the last guy we need, at least need, need. Overalls. What do we have for cap space? Five, okay, I don't understand how cap space works in this game. But, hey, I don't know a lot of things. Alright, so, if we offer him... Wow, now his asking price going way up. 
What's going on here? No way, Jose. He got, like, offended that we offered him such a low deal or what? Christ. He better get a jump and a half then. I guess we got to give him three years and then hopefully trade him if it's not a good... If he doesn't jump. Because I think at 1.6 we'll be able to offload him for free. Anyways, that'll take us to 4 million in cap space. We'll just qualify the rest of these guys. I don't think uh, we have any UFAs we need to worry about, do we? LeBlanc. No, you can just go. I don't know who you are. You can just go. Bork, I don't... Ah, Falk, that was one of them. Alright. Might come back and get Falk for depth. Let me tender all these uh, RFAs first. This one we want... Who else we got here? This is the guy we got in that trade. Not stoked on this guy. Or this guy. This guy, yes. And one other one. Who was it? This guy. Other ones can go. We'll zzz. Zoom this one day. Wouldn't be. <laughs> I thought it. I thought it said that Calvert lost morale because Pro resigned. Um, it wouldn't be bad to keep a little bit of money to sign a fucking backup goalie. Speaking of goalies, I should check to make sure we don't have any like running, running out. That's not Bobrovsky. We do qualify. Franz Reb. Apparently we, uh... Franz Reb. We don't need to sign him right off the bat. Okay. What does that mean? That means we can sign Prout. Or, uh, not Prout. There he is. Offer contract. He doesn't want much, which is nice. Seeing as he's depth, I like him on a two-way. He might not accept that. Hopefully he does. Morale went up just for getting the contract. He's happy to be here. Falk accepted. Beauty. Alright, let's go to free agency. I don't care about any of our other RFAs or UFAs. Let's just take a look who's in free agency. I won't sign anyone. I'll put it to you guys, but we'll see who's here. We have 4 million in cap space, which is average. Um, Bedker looks to be the crop of the, the cream of the crop here in free agency, but he wants too much money. Um... Going down, Weircock, too much money. We're looking right about here. We can get like a third line guy or a second pairing D maybe. Uh, in net for a backup goalie position, which we desperately need to... Um, what's the word I'm thinking of when you need to do something to something? We definitely need to blank our backup goalie position. I mean, I'm thinking of a lot of words that make sense, but none of the one, none of them are the one I'm thinking of. I'm drawing a fucking huge blank. I need to go to bed. Uh, Tukarski, 83 overall, might get a bit of a jump still, which would be nice. Or we could take the the Hiller. I think we would go Tukarski just because it's a backup. So if we do sign Tukarski, or at least try to, probably have to give him like 
five. If we give him one point six five, that would take us to two and a half mil for cap space. And let's just look at who's kind of available in that arena. For two and a half million, so it would have to be players that are kinda of underneath two and a half million. Right about here. Moore, Dominic Moore, Grant Clitsum, Chris Stewart, any uh, guys with potential, uh, Kevin Connaughton. These are the type of players we'd be looking at around here. So, not exactly uh, a high talent affair. Or we can um, maybe sign a cheaper goalie and look at guys like Matt Irwin, Bieksa, Brodziak, the guys that are sitting around $3 million here. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, next time we will do our free agency, and we'll see if we get some big jumps. Hopefully we do because we desperately need it. Um, may I don't think we can have a worse season than last year. And if we do, guarantee we don't get fucking boned on the lottery again. That was brutal. Anyways, guys, um, put your free agency suggestions in the comments. Um, Click like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.